Hello everyone, welcome back to our seventh weekly video. Now in this unit, we're going to delve deeply in several reading comprehensions along with conventions in our um, novel, The Dreamer. And uh, we're going to start off with our first basic the text the story of a little real dog. Again, as part of engagement, they're going to, the students are going to skim and scan through various techniques like jigsaw reading. They're going to explore the writer's choice of word in alignment with broader context. They're going to analyze and we're going to be introduced to various concepts of vocabulary towards the text itself. Lastly, we're going to move on to a, um, a challenging question that is, how did actually the author work influence the conservation efforts and protection of, you know, monkeys or dogs in general in the wild, and what are the current threats to their survival? And now in regard to our basically uh, library class, we're going to continue on with the same topic, that is how to formulate a research question. We're going to acknowledge diverse perspectives um, to engage various viewpoints, and we're going to promote ethical writing itself. Uh, facilitate future research again um, what are the major elements of writing a research paper um, or a research question sorry and we're going to meet a lot of requirements following institutional and style basic guidelines now a lot of questions are going to be taken into consideration like how will i measure or assess the outcomes related to my research question and can my research question adapt to changes or new discoveries in the field and now since our unit talks about human allies and their uh, basically impact on raising and elevating our uh, awareness, uh, human dignity, again, responsibility. We're going accordingly to move on to the dreamer, and we're going to focus on a theme that is mentorship. Again, we're going to skim through the novels of fundamental essence, analyze some words and choice of specific themes and, um, you know, words in the work itself, because again, as a narrative, it actually, um, it, it shows the boundaries between you know the dreams itself and you know the the walking reality that creates that vivid um you know image of the theme itself we're going to answer a lot of questions too regarding confidence that challenges the same topic itself which is human allies um in the early chapters um that's it and we're going to delve deeply in the reading itself whether it be first and now the second reading comprehension that we're going to be introduced to is Black Cowboys, Wild Horses. Um, again, the same thing. We're going to start with analysis and exploring um, the writer's uh, choice of words and options. Identify a list of vocabulary that's going to be required for our E1 exam. And we're going to answer a lot of questions. So what specific message or information is the author trying to convey throughout the early, uh, again, uh, themes and chapters? And how did actually the role of black cowboys in the American West uh, contribute to the a broader context uh, of narrative? Of the expansion in the 19th century as an example how are the alliances uh, between uh, characters established in uh, the initial chapters um, are they based on mutual goals shared experiences or are the factors in what ways actually do the characters serve as allies to one another and again how would it contribute to the development of such basically i think that's it for our class um see you next week and regarding conventions and alignment to the Novel that we have, which is a dreamer, we're going to talk more about perfect tenses. So in what way does the core idea of the lesson intersect with concepts of other disciplines and how um, might these connections enhance our, our, our understanding and how has the lesson's core concept evolved throughout time and what is the difference between fragments and complete sentences? And we're going to consider current trends and advancements and what potential future developments or innovations are likely to impact the lesson's core concept, again, in relation to the same um, basically a convention which is uh, present uh, perfect tenses.